everyone. Today I have a total body toning workout where the only equipment that you need is a mini band. So the ones I have are rubbery ones. Um, I definitely prefer these. We are gonna be doing a decent amount of upper body toning with the band. So if you have cloth, that might be a bit too intense for the upper body, but whatever resistance bands you have will make do with whatever you have. I have two different sizes. I have a light and a medium. So in some cases I will be using the medium. In some cases I will be using a light, but again, whatever you have, you use. Let's get started. Like I said, we're working the entire body today, JD, the entire body. We're gonna start in a wide stance plie. Bring your heels in, toes out. We're gonna grab the band on each side and take it first uh, right in front of you and you kind of want to pull it just a little bit so there's a little bit of tension on it and we're going to take 10 front raises so weights mostly back and heels 10 front raises you're going to send it straight down and then come up release the band back down exhale down band comes up inhale back up to center exhale down inhale up now of course this is only going to be challenging if you're holding tension in the band, if you're just holding it loose, you're not going to be feeling much. So hold tension the whole time. Four more. And three, we're going to hold it down. Last two. Last one, ready? We're going to hold it here. So now right arm's going to pull back. As we pull the right arm back, your right heel is going to lift up. Then you're gonna drop your right heel down, extend the arm back out. So we're gonna do that 10 times. So that was just a demo. So here we go. Pull it back, heel up, extend it out. Heel up, pull, extend out. So it's straight out in front of you. You're pulling as you raise the heel. Good. And you wanna stay down as low as you can in that wide second. So you're constantly holding tension on the thighs as well. Last four to go, and three, two, last one before we switch. Here we go, let's switch it out to the other side. Left heel, left arm, lift, extend, lift, extend. After this, of course, we're gonna have to do both heels, both arms. Good. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Good. Now hold it back out so you're sinking down as low as you can. Now you're going to stretch the band, pull it in. So bring your elbows out, really stretch the band in towards your chest. Raise both heels up and then extend it out, drop the heels down. So pull it in, really open up the band, lift the heels up, extend everything out. Open, pull, extend. Open, pull, and extend. Whew. Six more. Five, four, three, two. Last one, ready, hold it in, stretch it. Now pulse it out as far out as you can, depending on what uh, size you're using will determine how much you can stretch it. Four, three, two, one. Now keep the heels up, extend it back out, hold the tension, raise it up, try to sink down another inch, hold five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the band up, drop your heels down, walk your feet all the way in together. So like I said, we're gonna keep the hands up. I'm gonna scoot over so I don't kick JD when I do this next movement. We're gonna extend the right leg out. Now we're gonna pull the right arm down and as we pull the right arm down, our right leg's gonna come up. Then drop the leg down, extend the arm up. Pull, extend, drop down. Pull, extend, drop it down. So 10 on this side, then we'll do 10 on the other and we're gonna move right along. Five. Four, three, two, last one, let's hold it out for a pulse, ready? Pulse arm down, leg up. Woo, this really solidifies. 
size it doesn't it <laughs> five four three two and one good extend everything back up get ready we're going to shake it out after this side left leg points up getting ready to pull and extend up and drop the leg down Whew. good try to keep some tension on it the whole time I kind of let mine come loose a little bit. Don't slack. Four, three, two. Here we go, hold in pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, release it down, shake it out for a moment. All right, so. We're gonna do one more thing for now with the upper body before we take it into lower body for a little bit. So let's take the band around the wrists and you're gonna hold tension on the band. Make fists with your hands, palms are in, and then kind of like we did in the beginning, stretching the band out a little bit so you have tension. Now we're gonna start with just 10 hammer curls coming up and curling it down so your elbows stay close in towards the rib cage. And the more tension you hold, of course we know, that's what's gonna make it challenging, that's what's gonna work. Whew. All right, four more, then we're gonna add a little overhead press into the mix. Here we go, so you're gonna curl up, bring it up, try to hold the stretch down, down, that's where it's gonna to start to burn. So it's up, up, down, down, whoo, up, up, down, down. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed away from the ears. I know it's hard, but once the shoulders start hiking up, that's when you're gonna to start to feel this work in your neck. You don't wanna feel it in the neck. Last four. Oh my goodness, three. Two, and one, good, drop it down, ready? Holding the tension, now you're just gonna pulse it out, 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 again, super important, keep the shoulders relaxed, oh my goodness, it's burning, keep pulsing, I know it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but trust me, I'm pulsing, I'm burning. Five, four, three, two, and one, whoo! All right, as promised, we're gonna shift gears, get into a little bit of booty work before we come back into some upper body. So we're gonna be constantly alternating upper body, lower body, and of course abs at the end. Wouldn't be total body without abs. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the band with our left foot first. So our left foot's gonna be our stabilizing leg here. So we're gonna be feeling our left butt cheek. So we're gonna step on the band with our left foot and both hands are gonna grab onto the resistance band. All right, so we're holding on to it. We are gonna be doing a single leg deadlift. We're gonna be doing 20 on each side. Yes, 20, but we're only doing it one time, so that's why we're doing so many. All right, so point your right toes back behind you, and we're gonna to start to bring the chest parallel towards the ground, trying to keep a nice flat back, and then inhale, coming all the way up. Maybe you can keep your leg to hover. Good, so sending it down and coming up. Now, if this is super challenging for you, you can take one hand onto the wall and just keep your left hand on the resistance band. That's gonna make it a little bit more doable, so you can try that. Otherwise, both hands are on the band you should already be feeling the left butt cheek for sure. Good, keeping a slight bend in that knee, losing my balance. Oh, JD thinks it's playtime. <laughs> Try not to grip in those left toes best you can. We're halfway through, so we got 10 more to go. Nine, eight, seven, 
Now, again, I, I tend to take mine slower because as you can see, just lost my balance. So take it slow with me. Do these slower than you normally would so you really control it. Oh my goodness. Whew. I have to take my own modification on this side. <laughs> Last four. I can tell you, even if you're taking that modification, booty's still firing up. <laughs> that is for sure. Here we go. Last one. Good. Come on up. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And we're going to do that right onto the other side. So right foot's going to come to step onto the band. Both hands come on to the resistance band. Remember, you can always hold on to the wall or something else if you need to. Point the left toes back behind you, slight bend in the right knee. Here we go. Nice flat back position, hinging from the hips to come down, coming all the way up, trying to hover that back foot. Coming down and up, nice and slow. <laughs> Here we go again. My balance is off today, apparently. Up. And down. So I'm inhaling on the way up. Exhaling, slow down. Good. 12 more. Halfway through. Last 10. And we're going to move on from this exercise. Nine. JD, you're not making it any easier. I can tell you that. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. It's always interesting filming at home. Last three. Last two. Coming into our last one. All right, release that. So now, from this position, we're just gonna come to take that band above the knees on the quads. Okay, so right over the knees. We're gonna take it into a one minute wall sit with leg abductions. So you're gonna be pushing up against that band to open the legs out. All right, kind of like a clamshell leg position, but with your back up against the wall and that wall sit. So we're gonna do that for one minute before we move right along into our next little upper body block. So here we go, I'm gonna set the timer for one minute. Get yourself all ready, sink it down. Time starts now. So first things first, try to get yourself so that your hips are right in line with your knees. Making sure your hands are not on your quads, but you're totally resting up against the back. Back against the wall, sorry, JD's distracting me by playing with her tail. And let's start to move the legs. Out, out, out. Good. We're already halfway through. JD's in a super playful mood. So if your legs are really, really burning and you need a distraction, <laughs> look at the screen for a moment. Look at JD playing with her own tail <laughs> and playing with the mat. Always makes filming interesting. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come on up. All right, so like I said, we're gonna move into upper body once again. So for this next circuit, I'm actually going to take my lighter resistance band, because for me, these are super challenging. Um, so whatever band you have, 
You can control how high up you bring your arm up. So let me show you the exercise first. We're doing lateral raises with the band. We're gonna start with the right side. We're gonna do 10 and then 10 pulses. So Jamie's <laughs> hiding. <laughs> I always find it so funny how cats think they're so smart, but their tails are sticking out. Okay, so left hand's gonna plant onto the right hip, trying to keep your palm down the whole time, trying to lift your arm all the way up to shoulder height, and then just drop it down just enough so that you still have a little bit of tension. You don't ever want it to get loose. So like I said, depending on what size band you have, that might determine how high up your arm is going to go. All right, and if it's really too much, you can grab a dumbbell or something and do that instead in place of this, because this one is <laughs> a lot harder than it looks. Okay, so here we go. Plant the left hand onto the right side of your hip, and here we go. It's up and down, up and down. Mine's progressively getting lower each time. Last five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it up. Here's that pulse. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and release it. Oh my goodness. Other side. Holding on to the band, right hand's gonna plant onto the left hip, keeping the left palm down. Now here we go. Lift it up, shoulder height, right back down, trying to keep tension. It's up and down, up and down. This is my better side. Able to get a little bit higher maybe until I watch back and I'm like, hmm, that wasn't as good as I thought. <laughs> That does sometimes happen. Four more. Three. Really firing up the delts. Everything really that we've done so far is firing up the delts, shoulder muscles. Hold it up. Here we go, little pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release that. All right, so I am going to get my heavier one once again. So now we're gonna work our triceps, so back muscles. So essentially the same hand positioning, but rather than having um, your left hand on the right side of your hip, we're gonna start with the left hand on the side of your um, right shoulder. And so you're gonna take your hand, right hand, bring it into the band, and we're gonna be doing a tricep extension. So elbow's gonna stay in towards your body and you bend at the elbow to press it down. As we do that, simultaneously we're going to be taking our right leg back into a lunge. So we're going to press down, step back, come up, step back, come up. So we're going to be doing that 10 times and then pulsing it for 10 and then we'll repeat that on the other side. So here we go, left hand comes up over to the right side and here we start to press right hand down. So take it back, step back, lunge, and up. Again, always keeping tension. Take it back and up. Back and up. Six more. Last five. Four. The pulse is where you're really going to feel it. Three. Two. Last one. Here we go. Hold it back. Pulse it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Step it up. Shake it out. All right. Let's move right into the other side. So here we go. Tacking right hand over to the left side. Left hand comes onto the band. Let's tackle it. Left hand, left leg, leg up. Step it back and up. Again, 
The less you bring the arm up, the more you're going to feel it. Ooh, there goes my balance again. Take it back and up. Back and up. We're going to go into a little time circuit right after this. That's going to hit up abs a little bit. We're going to start to work into the abs a bit and still hitting up the upper body. Last three. Two. Last one, pulse it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it up. Alrighty, so into our time circuit. So we're gonna take it into a plank walkout with the band around our wrists for one minute. And then with the band on, holding the stretch, holding a plank for one minute. So that plank walkout, you're gonna hold the stretch the whole time. Walk your hands out. Then once you're in that plank, walk the hands back. Okay, so it's time. So we have no pressure of how many reps we get into. Move slow, work on holding the tension out. All right, so one minute, and then we hold one minute. Time's gonna start in three, two, and we go. Hold the stretch, bring it down. Uh oh, there's a genie in my way. <laughs> Once you get out into that plank, nice and slow, carefully walk it back. Roll up and walk it out. Sorry, JD, you're in my way. She's always got to be in the center of attention. If you haven't already noticed, we're halfway through, by the way. Yeah, kind of regretting this <laughs> choice to use my heavier band in this one. This is not going to be a fun next minute and 10 seconds. So next time you're in your plank, hold that stretch of the band, just hold it out. One minute here. If you can, stretch it out a little bit more. If you need to take a break, you can always drop the knees down. Otherwise you're staying strong. gonna check and I was gonna see what it was going to be at least halfway through <laughs> but not quite yet all right now we're halfway through stay strong stay strong stay strong we take it back up into lower body after this Ooh, outside of the arms they're burning 15 seconds left to go now I feel my core firing up. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one, walk it all the way back, roll it up, and oh my, oh my, let's switch it up into lower body. All right, so I'm going to now take the band around my ankles. You can take it above the knees on the quads to make it a little less challenging, if you'd like. This is gonna be another timed exercise. We're gonna do cha-chas for one minute, okay? So on each side. So for cha-chas, you can hold on to something if you need. Taking a big, big bend in the, in the uh, knees, you're gonna step foot out to the side, step back, step out to the side, step back. Then we're gonna hold it out to the side, pulse it up for 30 seconds, bring it back, pulse it up for 30 seconds, switch to the other side. So I'm gonna start with my right side. You guys can start with whichever side that you like because of course we're doing both sides. I would never just leave one side hanging. So here we go. 
One minute, you choose where you want to start. Hold on to something if you need. We go in three, two, and go. Step it out, step it back. So again, important to remember that you keep tension. Now I feel like a broken record because I keep saying that, but I just want to make sure no one, no one out there watching this is cheating. No cheaters allowed. So I feel like with the rubber bands, it's good to keep them around the ankles because rubber bands are much less challenging than the cloth bands. Cloth bands, when you put them around the ankles, are not fun. <laughs> okay, 20 more seconds. We're going to hold it out to the side and lift the leg up. Final 10. Holding it out to the side in five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it out to the side, lift that leg up, and pulse it. This is when things start to get real. If it wasn't burning before, now it should. Keep trying to stretch that band up, trying to break the band in half. Try not to lean over to that standing leg. So sometimes I feel like, like my, I want to collapse over to the side. Don't do that. Switching in three, two, and one. Take the leg back behind you, lift it up, and pulse it up. Little kick back. Woo! Standing booty is on fire. Keep the chest up. Bend into your knee a little bit more if you can. 10 seconds, lift that back leg up higher. Five, four, three, two, and release it. Whew. Take a 10 second breather. Set yourself up on the other side. Cha chas for one minute. Side leg lift for, one, for 30 seconds, not one minute, 30 seconds. And glute kick back. 30 seconds, uh, time is going to start in three, two, and we go, step it out, step it back. Second side is always harder because that butt cheek is already a bit fiery. <laughs> we'll get through it, we could do it. to grip in those standing toes. We're just about halfway through. Take it into a little forearm plank series after this, then finishing up with abs. 20 more seconds. Final 10. All right, taking it to the side in five, four, three, two, hold it out, pulse it up. Nice pointed toes, nice bend in that standing leg. You got this. Hold on to something if you need to. I'm holding on, my balance is something else today. <sighs> Halfway through. We take it into glute kickbacks, then take it into that little forearm plank series. Switching to kickbacks, in five, four, three, two, here we go. Take it back behind you, little lifts. Stretch it up as high as you can. Stretch, stretch, bend more in that standing leg. You're 10 seconds in. Try to keep minimal arch in the low back. Final 10, close to the end. You've got five, four, three, two, and release. Oh my goodness. Slap it out. Okay. Moving right along into our forearm plank series. Band is going to stay exactly where it is, either around the ankles or above the knees. We have a one minute forearm plank series coming up. So if you're not comfortable in the forearm plank, you can come into a high plank. Otherwise, because we were in high plank last time, let's try it in forearm plank. 
We're going to take a plank step out. So right foot comes out, left foot comes out, right foot lifts, left foot lifts. You want to take it up a notch? You can jump it in and out. All right. So whichever variation you're taking, we're going to do that for one whole minute. So let's tackle that. So coming into your forearm plank, one minute is going to start in five, four, three, two, and we go. Step out, step out, lift up, lift up. Again, your option, plank jack, lift, lift. If you're plank jacking, just be mindful to make sure that you're keeping your hips down. So you don't want to be plank jacking here with your hips lifted up. Keep the core nice and tight. Just about halfway through. That went by quick, right? Except the last 30 seconds are gonna to be tougher. <laughs> 20 more seconds to go. See you in a bit. Six more. 
five, you can lift the upper body up if you want. Four, three, two, last one, here we go. We're gonna hold it down, squeeze it, pulse it out, out, out. Whoo, inner thighs, five, four, three, two, and on one, bend the knees all the way back in. Take your hands behind your head. We're gonna come into bicycle crunches. Trying to keep your shoulders lifted the whole time. Cross opposite knee to opposite elbow. Back to center. Cross and center. Cross and center. Keep the shoulders up. Kick the legs straight out. We're almost there. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Hug the knees all the way in towards the chest so you can take the band off. We're going to use the band to stretch. Nice and quick. Just hug your right knee in towards the chest. Take the band around your foot and lift the leg all the way up. Now take both sides of the band into your right hand. Take your left hand onto your left hip and open your foot out to the right side. Now I have the wall that's in my way, but just imagine like I'm doing that. And grabbing both sides of the band into the left and take the foot all the way to the left side. You should feel a nice stretch in the IT band, which is the side of your leg. Then trying to rest the right shoulder blade all the way flush down to the mat. Extend the leg all the way back up. Let's switch it out. Left foot comes into the band. Just hold the stretch up. Taking both sides of the band into the left hand. Taking your right hand onto the right hip and opening out your left hip out or opening out the left foot to the left side to stretch out the hip rather. And then take both sides of the band into the right hand, taking it over to the right side, feeling that nice ITP stretch. Slowly bringing it all the way back around, releasing your leg from the band. And just taking a few moments to just rest your body onto the ground. Just taking a nice little well-deserved break after that amazing job. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this workout. Let me know how you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next workout. Bye.